Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Odessa and today I'm gonna show you how to make this beautiful summer cover-up. Or you can just use it as a dress. There is two ways to wear it, off shoulder or just like this style. So let's go ahead and start. I am going to use Dreamer's yarn in fingering weight. Or you can use any yarn that you have. The pattern is really easy to adapt. But for now, I'm using this yarn and my crochet hook is letter F or 3.75 millimeter hook. So we will start with foundation chain. I will be using white yarn so you can see it better. But in my original crochet top, I used this color red yarn. Alright, so let's start. First, I'm going to do chain 3. Now, I'm going to yarn over. Pull through the first chain. So I have three loops in my hook. Now I have to yarn over and pull through the first loop in my hook. Okay, and hold into that because that's we are going to put our second double crochet. Alright, so let's do our first double crochet. Pull through two and then pull through the next two. Okay. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show it to you one more time. So yarn over, insert your hook on the first chain and pull through, pull through one and hold into that first one. And do your double crochet now on your next one you are going to insert your hook on that very first loop that you did see okay and then pull through one then hold into that if it's easier you can put stitch marker the reason why I use this stitch because it's it's stretchable and it's really good for garments because we're going to do some ribbing stitches and this is going to be the off shoulder so this stitch is actually the best one and I have always used this so there it is if you guys have question let me know and you can just pause the video and watch it over and over again it might be hard at first but it will get easier So you are going to do your foundation chain for multiple of four. So if you are going to make a small size, USA size, I did actually 104 for me. Alright, let me show you with my original yarn. Okay, so this is how I did with the original yarn with fingering weight yarn. It is not easy at first, so let's go ahead and start. So chain three. And let's do our foundation chain. It's actually foundation double crochet, if I'm not mistaken. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe this is called the foundation chain. If you are using, you can also use... Uh, a thicker yarn if you want and the stitches will be the same it's multiple of four you just have to get your measuring tape measure your shoulders measure your bust and that's it 
you, it's very easy to adapt and it's very easy to adjust so he, this is what it looks like with the very fine yarn now I'm going to show you the other option if you don't want to do the foundation chain you can just do a regular chain so you can do chain of 104 or whatever size you needed you just have to do multiple of four and then just do the regular double crochet so for that you are going to do your chains and in the fourth chain from your hook you will do your first double crochet and this is going to be your first round okay and I apologize for low quality of video or it's quite dark it has been raining and we don't have really good lightning here in my place it's winter so it's really dark it gets really dark so that's why you see the light with my hand shadows on there just bear with me <laughs> maybe in summer it will get better happy new year to everyone it's 2022 it's first day of january and i hope the year 2022 will be good to everyone all right so just chain three and turn and we will do our front post double crochet in the second double crochet and then on the next one will be the back post double crochet so we are just going to repeat that all the way around so front post back post and front post and we are going to repeat this type of pattern for like five rounds i did mine for five rounds but if you're using a thicker yarn you probably just need two rounds or three rounds but i'm using fingering weight yarn so i did five rounds for me so here it is our front post and back post and it is not stretchable if you just did the chain it's not stretchable but if you do the foundation chain it's actually stretchable and it's good for the shoulder it holds it holds up better than the chain all right so here is my foundation chain now we are going to do chain three and then front post double crochet on the next double crochet so your first chain three is gonna be your first double crochet and the very next one will be your front post double crochet next stitch will be back post double crochet so you're just gonna repeat this all the way around so front post back post front post back post please pay attention not to make any mistake on this one otherwise you have to repeat it again so front post back post front post back post it's not hard it's actually a pretty easy pattern Please excuse my nail, I jam it into the car seat and it looks quite weird. It looks like there's a big dirt on it, but it's actually like bruise. So here it is. Our first ribbing round is done. Now we are going to do our last one. The last one should be just double crochet all right so you are going to repeat this for five rows if you want to make it larger probably you have to make more rows for your ribbing after you're done with your ribbing rounds now we are going to start our lace one two three chain three and then do double crochet on the next three stitches so one two and three 
so total of four double crochet and the next four stitches one two three four now next will be chain four skip three stitches and then do a single crochet on the next stitch chain three now do a picot so for the picot you are going to chain three slip stitch on the first chain and then do a single crochet on the same stitch where you put your first single crochet chain four skip three and do a single crochet chain three and do your picot single crochet on the same stitch so you're just gonna repeat this all the way around so chain four skip three single crochet on the next stitch and then do your picot so here it is so you're going to do four double crochet chain four skip three single crochet in the next do your picot single crochet on the same stitch and you're just gonna repeat that all the way around you should have four double crochet at the end of your round so i will show that to you in a little bit So I'm on my last four stitches. So if you did your counting right, you should have ended with four stitches left, okay? So before that, you have to chain four. Because after you ended with picot, you need to chain four all the time. So chain four and then do your four double crochet on the last four stitches. Please remember to do a chain 4 after your picot. So chain 3 and turn your work around and do your first 4 double crochet in that 4 stitches. So in this round it will be a little bit different from the first lace round so this is the lace okay and this is the easiest one so after you do your four double crochet you are going to do a single crochet in your four chains four chain space so just do one single crochet chain four single crochet on the next chain space chain four and single crochet you're just gonna repeat this all the way around so the our lace row uh, our lace is has just two rows and you're just gonna repeat that over and over again until you reach the desired length that you needed so you just have to remember that when you're doing a picot your end should have four chain space if you're doing just the four chain spaces you should your end should have single crochet Let me show you real quick the end of the second row for our lace. So I did my single crochet on the last chain space. Now we are going to do double crochet on the last four stitches. So I didn't do chain four, okay? 
remember that we don't do chain for four hour single crochet if we did the single crochet at the end so we don't do any chain four i'm reminding you because i have been making mistakes to do, uh doing this i was like oh no i forgot i don't have to do chain four so i have to redo all over again so <laughs> if you have to write it down write it down so chain three and turn your work around and do our four double crochet if you guys have suggestions for our next tutorial just let me know in the comments below so here we did our four double crochet and now we are going to do our chain four So this is our picot round so chain four do our picot in the very next chain four space so to do our picot we do single crochet chain three slip stitch on the first chain and single crochet on the same chain space chain four and do picot on the next space right there chain three and do your picot single crochet in the same chain space so you will just be repeating this over and over okay it's easy right it's not hard so this is what it looks like your picot should be on the top of your picot or your picot should be inside those spaces so this is what it looks like so there's our picots inside it's like letter v or it looks like actually a little flower in the vase so here is the piece i just finished and i did also the edging on this one but i'm gonna show it to you later on so you're going to make two of this and here is the edging that I'm telling you about. I will show that in just a little bit. Let me just get my measuring tape and measure this and let's see how big I have. This is for small size but I am actually extra small so this is probably extra small in US size but I did 104 stitches. Hold on, my camera really couldn't get the whole picture of it, but I'll show you the the measure. This is 21 inches. The shoulder is 21 inches. That's tiny. That's how tiny I am. <laughs> and the length of the body is about 30 inches long. So 21 in the shoulder and 30 for the body part. So, yep, short. It's about just above my knee. And the pattern or the dress is actually stretchable. So it's stretched out to me. So if you wanted to make it longer, just go ahead and keep adding more rows like i said this pattern is easy to adjust our next round will be our edging i will show it to you in our next round so for the edging i am going to change my color into dark purple you can just go ahead and use what yarn or color are you using okay so if you want to change color this is how i did mine but you can do any method that you wanted so we're going to do chain one not chain three i just got used to do it from repeating the pattern over and over so chain one and do single crochet on your first stitch
now you're going to skip the next three double crochet and put three double crochet on the next chain space so one double crochet two double crochet and three double crochet next we are going to do our picot so our edging has point on it chain three and do your picot slip stitch on the first chain next will be do another three double crochet on the same space next single crochet on the next chain space and you're just gonna repeat that all the way around or at the end of your row So three double crochet, picot three double crochet, and then single crochet on the next chain space. Now I'm going to show you how I attach them together. When you finish doing your two pieces, this is how you are going to put them together. So lay them flat, just like this. You can put a pin on it so you, it's easy for you to see the stitches. So just like that, and I'm going to sew, I'm going to sew the shoulder part the five rounds of front post and back post i'm gonna sew them together so i'm just gonna grab a needle and the yarn and just sew them make sure to leave a good space for your arm hole okay do not sew the arm hole and then after that you're going to sew the body going down into the edging and that's it it's just so easy you can just do any stitches that you wanted to do for your for sewing it or however you want to put them together I hope you guys enjoyed this video please give me some like subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button to make sure you are updated and you'll see my next tutorial soon bye guys